In the previous video, we saw how to write a web resource. In this video, we will look at how to deploy a web resource. So now let's go ahead and deploy it. So to do that, click OK first. And then click on save. And then publish. Now, we discussed that this is going to be deployed on the account entity. So now let's go to the account entity and open up the forms. So I want to deploy it on the main form of the account. So to do that, open the form by double clicking on it. Click on form properties. And first, add the JavaScript web resource to your form. To do that, so these are your uh, JavaScript web resources which are loaded to your form. So to add one more, just click on add, search for the web resource. And just click add. Now, you added your account validation JavaScript web resource to your form libraries. Now, you need to add an event handler. So, basically what that means is you need to add certain triggers as to when this particular function which is within the JavaScript web resource needs to be triggered. To add that, there are many different ways of, uh, there are many different types of triggers. You can add uh, like, you know, event handlers on load and then you can do it on save. And also at the field level, you can do it at, on change of a particular field. So uh, there are many options like that. So for us, what we need to do is we need to add it on save of the record. So to do that, just click on add. Choose the library, which is new account validation. And mention the function name. Just check phone number. Just click OK. And just click OK over here. Now, save and then publish. So yeah, now uh, your form has been, your JavaScript web resource has been added to the form and you also added a event handler for save, which is your check phone number function. Now let's go ahead and test it out. I've opened my account entity want to create a new account record run event test phone number validation I'm not going to uh, have any data for my phone number I'm not going to enter any data for my phone number and I'm going to save it now so there you go it threw the alert box saying the phone number is null And since I already have a record with that phone number, it's saying this. Uh, this is a, def a default uh, duplicate record detection rules which is kicking in for uh, the account entity. I already have a record with this particular phone number, so it's throwing that error. But you can just ignore and save. So yeah, there you go. Now uh, I've created, the account record is created and the phone number is updated. In the next video, we'll look at how to debug our JavaScript web resource.